Thanks for joining us on our streaming service for your first alert drought forecast. I'm your first alert meteorologist, Callie Zanandri. Let's take a look at how drought conditions across Colorado have changed over the past week, and there's some encouraging news to share. The biggest improvement came in the extreme drought category, which dropped by about 13% statewide. A significant shift in just one week. You'll notice much of that deep red on the map has now been washed away. The most dramatic change was in southern Colorado. Colorado, where record rainfall helped push many areas all the way to drought free status. The Eastern Plains continues to hold steady with mostly drought free conditions, which is great news for agriculture. However, portions of the Denver metro area, including Jefferson, Douglas and Arapahoe counties are still dealing with moderate drought and could benefit from additional moisture in the days ahead. We'll keep tracking these improvements, especially with another storm system on the horizon that could bring more mountain moisture early next week. Joining me now is climatologist Allie from Colorado State University. Thank you so much be for being here, Allie. Thank you so much for having me. Now, Southern Colorado, like we just talked about, saw record rainfall earlier this week. How unusual is it to get that much rain all at once this time of year? Yeah, it's pretty uncommon to see rainfall totals like this at this time of year. And Mostly that's because we typically don't have this much moisture being pumped into the state at this time of year. The closest storm that our office could find was way back in October 1911, so well over 100 years ago. Um, yeah. Now, is it common to see drought conditions disappear so quickly, going from drought to drought free in just one week? Yeah, it's uncommon, but I wouldn't say that it's unprecedented. So typically with the U.S. Drought Monitor, we usually only see one category improvements or degradations over the course of the week. Um, however, when we do see these kind of more extreme rainfall and flash flooding cases over drought stricken areas, we can sometimes see those changes over the course of a week in the Drought Monitor. Yeah, such a great improvement. Now, as we saw, it can be too much of a good thing. How can prolonged drought actually increase the risk of flooding when heavy rain finally hits? That's a great question. So it's worth mentioning first that our mountain areas are susceptible locations to flooding due to their complex terrain. Um, however, drought can tend to exacerbate those flood conditions and that flood risk because those drier, thirstier soils can often have a hard time absorbing that rain, especially when it comes all at once. Um, and a lot of times when we have drought, we also have fire, which we definitely saw in Western Colorado um, over the summer. Um, and so those fires can leave behind burn scars, which are also very susceptible areas to flooding because they can lead to mudslides and debris flows. Now, was this recent rain event a weather fluke or could we see more of these intense short bursts of precipitation in the future due to climate change? Yeah, so as I mentioned, it's pretty uncommon to get this much moisture in Colorado during October. We can see values like this sometimes in the summertime um, when we get moisture from the North American monsoon, uh, but it's definitely very unusual to see that much moisture at this time of year. Um, and while we can't say whether this event was or was not tied to climate change, we do know that with climate change in general, we kind of expect our extremes to become more extreme. So our heavy rain to become more extreme as well as our drought conditions to also become more extreme. Now, even though we picked up a lot of rain, does that mean we're truly out of the woods when it comes to drought in Southern Colorado or could dry conditions return without consistent moisture through the fall and winter? Yeah, we're definitely not out of the woods um, with drought. And if you look at the drought monitor for this week, we can see that there's definitely still a lot of areas that are still experiencing drought conditions in Western Colorado. So while this precipitation was certainly a welcome relief in the short term, um, our most important source of moisture and water in Colorado is our snowpack. Um, so we really need that to build up during our winter months uh, in, or in order for us to continue to kind of see these drought free conditions in the state. Yeah, we're all praying for snow. So looking ahead, what are we expecting the rest of the fall and into the winter? Any signals yet on whether we'll stay wet or turn dry again? Great question. So um, the next few weeks do look to be much drier um, than certainly drier than what we saw in the last few days. Um, but uh, as we're shifting into fall, we've also shifted into La Nina conditions. So historically, La Nina conditions particularly when they're present in the fall in Colorado, 
uh, can often be correlated with drier conditions in the state. Um, so that's certainly something that we'll be keeping an eye on um, and we'll be watching for whether those drought conditions will return. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Allie, and we will see you back here next week for your first alert drought report.